Good day, good evening. Just a good whatever. Here we have uh, Fatal Fury 2. You probably couldn't tell by looking at the front. You'd have to look at the top. Fatal Fury 2. So this is the uh, PAL release, as you can tell by the 1902555 number. It's been a long time since we've had that. Um, look at those charges. Jeez, 96 per minute. You need to get your parents okay, kids. Uh, we are going to be dumping this. This is the PAL version, apparently not in the wild. Uh, I'll surprise any of these games aren't in the wild. Uh, got a US release, but uh, did not get much of a PAL release, apparently. So we're dumping it through the uh, Mega CD, uh, controller port 2. And as you can see there, we've taped over B32 to trick the Mega CD into believing that there's nothing in the Mega Drive slot. We've got it fooled this time, kids. There are the uh, two actual chips that we'll be dumping. Good old MPR-16712 and 16711. So let's, uh, let's get it back into its case so it's nice and tidy. And get it into the, uh, the Mega Drive. Fatal Fury 2 is engaged and... Thank you to Mask of Destiny for providing the software and the uh, pinouts. Didn't use the pinouts because I bought a cable because I'm lazy. Alright, I didn't have success the first time. Make sure you set your parallel port to uh, bi-directional, not ECP plus EPP. Yes, yeah, so that's booting up okay. So I've got Windows XP here. First thing you want to do is jump down on the Mega Drive to dump.bin, hit start. Now, I do believe uh, Fatal Fury is a 32 megabit cart, which should wind up uh, being about 4 meg if my math is correct. Don't yell at me if I'm wrong. 32 divided by 8. Yeah, that's 4. That's 4. So, uh, first up, we want to fire up, uh, well, next up, I should say, dump.exe, which is a part of ComCable 1.1 by Mask of Destiny at RetroDev. So once you load that, it starts waiting for the Mega Drive response and we hit, it uh, doesn't always work first time I found, but you know, if you keep going, you'll get there. You watch my other video on Sonic when I dumped that, that was only four megabit, this is uh, quite a bit bigger. So if we go with Auto, oh no, there we go, it, it reckons it's a, um, 24 megabit, so 3 meg. Well, I guess we just have to wait now. It's too bad we can't look at the data coming across the actual cable. So it just goes into the old parallel port. Uh, purchase that one from Toto Tech. If you watch the Sonic video, you already know that though. It runs down and around into port 2. It's just a PAL Mega CD and a PAL Mega Drive. Uh, I think that's a VA4. You know, the ones that have trouble with Doom and 32Xs. Well, just 32Xs. I should do some uh, modifications. But more on that another day. So it creates a file called output.bin. You can rename that to whatever you want. Does take a while to run. Maybe we'll cut back. Let's cut back. We've just passed the 50% mark and we're up to uh, 1.5 megabytes. So looking pretty good. Now we're into the 80s now. I do love the 80s. You know what's sometimes regarded as an even better era? I mean, it was good to be born in the 80s, maybe. But I think... the 90s. 
That was a great time to be alive. Mm-hmm. Anything past the year 2000, that was dead to me. Oh, come on, here we go. Pulse size isn't updated on that yet. We dropped back at the cart dump menu and we're now three meg in size. So let's fire up Fusion. Thanks, Steve Snake. Output to bin. Check some incorrect. But it's running anyway. I'll have to redump that and check for errors, but we'll get there. I'll do it off camera. Won't waste your time. And we return. We're now on the uh, virtual machine. I've moved the files across. Uh, the two dumps were the same. Uh, so they're identical. So we can check that in uh, the hex editor. Using hxd, which is just the first one that came up. So we want to output 0 and output 1. And that opens them in tabs. And you go uh, also extras. Uh, file tools and oh, analysis. There we go. File compare. Control K. And it gives you the two files. Make sure they're the same ones you want to check. And the chosen files are identical, which means it's a good dump unless I'm doing something wrong with the settings. Now the checksum is still wrong. Interestingly, I went and downloaded the uh, USA version of uh, Fatal Fury 2. Now I've got the ROMs just there. Uh, one was a, an SMD file, so I had to convert it over to a bin file to be able to compare it properly using SBWIN. Good little program. Uh, so these are the results. Uh, UE. Uh, I didn't know that. So anyway, crack it open in the hex editor. We want, uh, let's go with output 0 and uh, UE. So we've got the two files there. So pretty similar on the very front there. Let's do a file compare. Now put dot bin. Identical. Interesting. So now let's try um Let's do a uh, USA.bin one I found and uh, output zero again. Again, they look pretty similar there. Identical. So this dump is no different to the other ones. There you go. Not too exciting at all. So the checksum being incorrect is possibly just the... Uh... Who are the people that make things? The creators. It's their fault that they didn't fix their checksum, which is just lazy. <laughs> Still, it's a pretty hard game. I, I couldn't even kick the other guy. I gave it a go, but I'm not very good at fighting games. <laughs> Unless you count uh, Dead or Alive, where I'm very good at pressing the kick button or punch. So thanks for watching, that's how you dump uh, Fatal Fury 2 PAL.